the United States government has made significant investments in developing robotic combat vehicles that stand as a testament to American technological prowess, surpassing armored vehicles worldwide, including Russia's offerings. These RCVs, ranging from agile scout variants to robust heavy models, represent a quantum leap in military innovation. With substantial financial backing, the U.S. showcases its commitment to maintaining supremacy in the global defense arena. Join us as we explore the U.S. new laser tank that shocked Russians. In the ever-evolving landscape of modern warfare, adaptation and innovation are paramount. The M113 armored personnel carrier, once a battlefield stalwart, faced obsolescence against advanced counterparts like the M2 and M3 Bradleys. To meet this challenge, the U.S. Army undertook a visionary mission to revitalize surplus M113S, making them platforms for emerging technologies and ushering in a new era for this venerable vehicle. In addition, the military also introduced cutting-edge laser tanks known as RVs, further reinforcing their commitment to staying ahead in the relentless march of technological advancement. The journey of robotic combat vehicles found its roots in the 1960s with the introduction of the M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, affectionately known as the M113. This iconic vehicle was born out of precise requirements, driven by the need for a versatile troop carrier capable of navigating challenging terrains, including water obstacles, while ensuring the safety of its occupants. The M113 quickly evolved into a cornerstone of military fleets worldwide, adapting to meet the ever-changing demands of the battlefield. The M113's remarkable adaptability allowed it to diversify into various variants, each tailored to meet specific operational needs. Some variants were configured as mortar carriers, providing mobile artillery support to ground forces. Others served as command vehicles, enabling effective communication and coordination on the battlefield. Additionally, ambulance variants were vital in evacuating wounded soldiers from hazardous areas. While not impervious to heavy weaponry, its armor protected against small arms fire and artillery splinters, significantly enhancing its survivability on the battlefield. With dimensions measuring approximately 192 inches in length, 106 inches in width, and 104 inches in height, and weighing around 12 to 13 tons, the M113 possessed a compact design ideally suited for navigating diverse terrains. Its robust six-cylinder Detroit diesel engine, paired with an Allison automatic transmission, provided the necessary power, while its tracks offered the traction needed to conquer off-road conditions. Armed with a 50 caliber M2 Browning machine gun, or a 40 mm MK-19 automatic grenade launcher mounted in a turret, the M113 wielded sufficient firepower to support troops on the ground. Certain variants, such as the MM-901 improved tow vehicle, were transformed into anti-tank powerhouses equipped with BGM-71 tow missile launchers capable of engaging enemy armored vehicles effectively. It became an invaluable asset, participating in numerous conflicts, including the intense battlegrounds of Vietnam, the Gulf War, and the Iraq War, further solidifying its place in military history. The M113's mobility and cross-country capabilities made it a linchpin in evolving military doctrines. As modern warfare strategies shifted toward rapid and mobile operations, its ability to swiftly transport troops to the battlefield while protecting against small arms fire and artillery became increasingly important. The M113's mobility allowed it to excel in various terrains, from dense jungles to arid deserts, making it a versatile asset for military organizations worldwide. Despite its age, the M113 continued to serve many military organizations well into the 21st century. While newer armored vehicles were introduced, the M113's durability and adaptability ensured its relevance on modern battlefields. The metamorphosis of the M113 into a robotic combat vehicle is a seismic shift in military technology, a true revolution rather than mere refurbishment. It represents a comprehensive reimagination of the vehicle's capabilities, pushing the boundaries of what was once thought possible. This transformation was vividly showcased at the Army's recent EDGE 
2022 technology exhibition held at Dugway Proving Ground, where several groundbreaking advancements took center stage, leaving spectators in awe. At the core of the RCV's transformation lies its advanced electrical infrastructure, a marvel of engineering and innovation. This groundbreaking change not only improved fuel efficiency, but also elevated the vehicle's overall performance to unprecedented levels. The introduction of a hybrid electric drive not only made the robotic combat vehicle more eco-friendly, but also remarkably efficient, ensuring it could operate effectively on the contemporary battlefield while minimizing its carbon footprint. This is a testament to the military's commitment to sustainable and efficient warfare. The RCV came equipped with cutting-edge optics that provided the remote operator with panoramic 360-degree situational awareness, akin to having eyes all around. This heightened visual prowess allowed for precise target acquisition and tracking, giving the robotic combat vehicle a formidable advantage in identifying and neutralizing threats in dynamic combat scenarios. The integration of these advanced optics redefines the concept of vision on the battlefield, ensuring that the RCV is always one step ahead of its adversaries. The R-150 weapon station from Electro-Optic Systems was mounted atop this technological marvel. This versatile weapon station boasts a thermal imaging camera and a laser rangefinder, enabling precise targeting. It could accommodate a 50 caliber heavy machine gun or an Arnold Defense 4-shot LAND LGR-4 laser-guided weapon system. The LAND LGR-4, capable of launching 70mm APKWS rockets, achieved a remarkable 100% success rate when engaging targets up to 6 kilometers away, extending its operational range to an impressive 8 kilometers. This level of firepower made the robotic combat vehicle a formidable force, capable of engaging a wide range of threats with lethal precision. One of the primary benefits of this laser system in RCVs is its unparalleled precision and speed. Unlike traditional kinetic weapons like bullets or missiles, lasers travel at the speed of light, which means they hit their targets virtually instantaneously once fired. This attribute is especially valuable when engaging fast-moving or maneuverable threats like drones or enemy vehicles. Moreover, Lasers can be precisely controlled to deliver a consistent and accurate beam to the target. This level of accuracy reduces collateral damage and minimizes the risk to friendly forces or non-combatants in the vicinity. In essence, laser systems offer a level of control and precision unmatched by conventional weaponry. Another critical advantage of laser systems is their virtual absence of conventional ammunition. Traditional weapons require constant bullets, shells, or missiles, which constrain logistics and supply lines. In contrast, lasers rely on electricity, drawing power from the vehicle's onboard electrical infrastructure. As long as there is a power source, the RCV equipped with a laser system effectively has an infinite ammunition supply. This feature significantly enhances the RCV's endurance and mission sustainability. With extended periods of operation without resupply, the robotic combat vehicle can maintain its presence on the battlefield conduct surveillance, and engage targets as needed. This reduced dependence on conventional ammunition can lower the logistical burden, resulting in more efficient and cost-effective military operations. Laser systems offer the capability to counter a wide range of threats. They can be used for target destruction, disabling enemy sensors, or intercepting and neutralizing incoming projectiles. The power output of laser systems can also be adjusted, allowing for non-lethal applications such as blinding enemy sensors or communications equipment. Inside the robotic combat vehicle, the crew enjoyed heightened fuel efficiency and ride comfort, making the M113 transformation technologically advanced and user-friendly. Integrating modern technologies ensured that human operators could focus on mission-critical tasks without unnecessary complexities enhancing their efficiency and effectiveness. The decision to equip the RCV with rubber tracks showcased a sophisticated approach. This choice reduced weight, minimized vibration and noise, and prevented road damage, all while decreasing the logistical burden on the military. The versatility of rubber tracks enabled the RCV to navigate diverse terrains while reducing its environmental impact easily. The modular platform could accommodate up to 7,000 pounds of additional equipment, enhancing its adaptability for various missions, 
This versatility meant the RCV could be configured to meet specific operational requirements, making it an invaluable asset with multifaceted applications. The transformation of the M113 into an RCV was nothing short of revolutionary. It revitalized a venerable vehicle and positioned it as a formidable force on the contemporary battlefield. The resurgence of the M113, now equipped with a level of lethality capable of dominating, exceeded expectations and underscored the adaptability and innovation within the military. The transformation of surplus M113S into RCVs constitutes just one facet of a broader initiative to integrate unmanned systems into the U.S. Army. The success of RCVs holds the potential to dramatically reduce the human cost of military operations, save lives, and yield long-term cost savings. Let's delve deeper into the Robotic Combat Vehicle Program and its visionary outlook for the future. Seven pivotal characteristics are central to the RCV program, each serving as a foundation for developing these cutting-edge vehicles. These characteristics not only define the capabilities of RCVs, but also address key considerations for their seamless integration into military operations. RCVs have dedicated semi-resilient data links connecting them to their operator control unit. This feature ensures that human operators maintain ultimate control, a critical safeguard against any potential robotic uprising. Human oversight remains a fundamental aspect of RCV operations, providing a fail-safe mechanism. RCVs demonstrate a remarkable level of autonomy, reducing the extent of required human interaction during mission execution. They autonomously navigate to designated positions, leveraging terrain and intelligent decision-making to achieve optimal positioning. While autonomy is a hallmark of RCVs, they operate under the guidance and control of human operators, ensuring that the rules of engagement are upheld. Emphasizing growth and modularity ensures that RCVs remain adaptable and easily upgradable. These vehicles can seamlessly incorporate new and existing technologies from diverse military domains, empowering them to align flexibly with each mission's unique demands. This adaptability enhances the longevity and relevance of RCVs in an ever-changing operational landscape. RCVs are designed to achieve precise target effects and ensure efficiency when engaging with onboard or external weapons. This includes integrating smaller vehicles, such as drones, for overhead targeting and expanding their capabilities and versatility. The ability to engage threats with precision minimizes collateral damage and enhances mission success. RCVs possess the resilience to provide continuous support to their units for an impressive 72 hours on a full charge. This sustainable endurance aligns with the Army's visionary two-level maintenance concept and condition-based maintenance plus approach, ensuring mission readiness while minimizing operational costs and logistical burdens. The extended operational endurance of RCVs contributes to their effectiveness on extended missions. This visionary program seeks to develop a family of robotic vehicles, each tailored for specific roles on the battlefield. As the warfare landscape evolves, the RCV program presently has three prototypes that represent a significant leap forward in the capabilities of military robots. The U.S. Army's commitment to the RCV program is substantial reflecting its confidence in the potential of these robotic vehicles to revolutionize modern warfare. As of the 2023 fiscal year, the Army has earmarked nearly $116 million for research, development, testing, and evaluation related to RCVs. Over the following five years, from 2023 to 2027, approximately $700 million will be allocated for developing surrogates, full-system prototypes, and software. This significant investment underscores the Army's dedication to staying at the forefront of technological advancement in military capabilities. The Robotic Combat Vehicle Light is the first member of the RCV family, designed for maneuverability and agility on the battlefield. It is optimized with a particular focus on size, weight, power, and cost. One of its key design considerations is its weight limit, which must not exceed 10 tons, this limited weight ensures that the RCVL remains a nimble and agile platform, capable of rapid movement on various terrains. The RCVL is notable for its compact dimensions, enabling easy helicopter transport. 
This feature allows for swift deployment to critical areas of operation, enhancing its strategic mobility. To bolster situational awareness on the battlefield, the RCVL is equipped with a tethered, unmanned aerial system and a small reconnaissance drone. This combination of ground-based and aerial surveys provides a comprehensive battlefield view, aiding offensive and defensive operations. Regarding weaponry, the RCVL is armed with a versatile array of tools. Its primary weapon system is the common remotely operated Weapon Station 2 module, which can be fitted with various options, including a 50 caliber M2 machine gun, the Mark 19 Mod 3 automatic grenade launcher, anti-tank guided missiles, and a recoilless gun. This diverse arsenal allows the RCVL to engage a wide range of threats with precision and versatility. The robotic combat vehicle medium represents the next step in the RCV family, offering enhanced capabilities in terms of survivability and versatility. While it focuses on maneuverability, it features reinforced armor and improved guidance systems, making it an ideal choice for dealing with battlefield light and medium armor threats. With a weight range of 10 to 20 tons, the RCVM balances mobility and firepower. Its adaptable weight allows for compatibility with transport by C-130 aircraft, ensuring rapid deployment and redeployment as operational needs dictate. Furthermore, the RCVM incorporates advanced electronic warfare systems, counter-unmanned aerial systems, and mobile camouflage technologies. These cutting-edge features significantly reduce risks for soldiers operating in hazardous and contested environments, enhancing the safety and effectiveness of military operations. The Robotic Combat Vehicle Heavy stands as the heavyweight contender within the RCV family, designed to operate alongside manned counterparts or as part of a platoon with other robots. With a weight range between 20 and 30 tons, the RCVH is built for robustness and endurance, capable of withstanding intense combat situations. The dimensions of the RCVH are compatible with transport by C-17 aircraft, ensuring it can be rapidly deployed to theaters of operation. One of its distinguishing features is its resilience against machine gun fire and shrapnel, making it exceptionally durable in combat scenarios. With an automatic large caliber cannon and the capacity to carry even heavier ammunition, such as joint air-to-ground missile air-to-ground missiles, the RCVH possesses immense firepower. This firepower enables it to engage all known hostile armored vehicles, contributing significantly to battlefield dominance. One critical aspect of the robotic combat vehicle program is its integration and coordination with manned military forces. These robotic vehicles are not meant to replace human soldiers, but rather to complement them, enhancing the capabilities of military units. RCVs can perform dangerous or tedious tasks for humans, such as reconnaissance, surveillance, and engaging enemy targets from a safe distance. The RCVs are equipped with advanced artificial intelligence and sensor systems that enable them to operate autonomously or under the supervision of human operators. They can be remotely controlled from a safe distance or operate in semi-autonomous modes where human operators provide high-level commands while the RCVs make real-time decisions based on their sensor data and AI algorithms. By working in tandem with human forces, RCVs can extend the reach of military units, gather valuable intelligence, and execute precise and lethal actions when necessary. This collaborative approach leverages the strengths of both robotic and human assets, creating a more formidable and adaptable military force. Other nations, including Russia, have been closely monitoring the development of U.S. remote weapon systems with keen interest. These advanced weapon systems offer significant advantages regarding firepower and situational awareness on the battlefield. As a response, Russia has continued to advance its armored vehicle technology, with one notable example being the Boomerang BTR-90. The Boomerang BTR-90's firepower is undoubtedly one of its most formidable assets. At the heart of its offensive capabilities lies a 30mm autocannon, a weapon that endows the vehicle with significant anti-personnel and anti-material firepower. This autocannon can unleash a barrage of high-velocity rounds, making it highly effective against infantry and light-armored vehicles. 
Additionally, it can engage targets at extended ranges, enhancing its versatility on the battlefield. Beyond the autocannon, the Bumerang BTR-90 is armed with anti-aircraft machine guns and anti-tank guided missiles. These secondary weapons expand their engagement capabilities, enabling them to confront a wide range of threats effectively. The anti-aircraft machine guns are crucial for defending against low-flying aerial threats, such as drones or helicopters, while the ATGMs give the vehicle the ability to engage heavily armored targets at a distance. This comprehensive firepower arsenal solidifies the Bumerang's role as a force multiplier, providing crucial support to infantry and armored formations. Amphibious capability is another standout feature of the Bumerang BTR-90. This design element allows the vehicle to operate seamlessly in aquatic environments, making it adaptable to various scenarios. Whether tasked with river crossings during offensive maneuvers or conducting amphibious assaults in coastal regions, this feature broadens its mission scope. Such versatility ensures that the boomerang can effectively participate in joint and combined operations, adding more flexibility to its deployment. In terms of protection, the Bumerang BTR-90 prioritizes crew and troop survivability. Advanced composite armor provides increased protection against a range of threats, including small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. To further enhance survivability, the vehicle incorporates reactive armor modules. These modules are strategically placed on the vehicle's hull and turret, and they act as an effective countermeasure against anti-tank munitions, such as rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank guided missiles. Combining composite and reactive armor ensures the Bumerang BTR-90 can withstand various battlefield hazards. Mobility plays a pivotal role in the success of armored vehicles, and the Bumerang BTR-90 is designed with agility in mind. Its wheeled chassis offers improved speed and maneuverability compared to tracked armored vehicles. This agility enables it to swiftly traverse a wide range of terrains, from rugged off-road landscapes to urban environments. This mobility's rapid deployment and tactical flexibility are key advantages, allowing the Bumerang to respond swiftly to changing battlefield conditions. The Bumerang BTR-90 is equipped with state-of-the-art communication systems and targeting equipment in electronics. These advanced electronics facilitate seamless communication with other units and provide precise targeting capabilities. In modern warfare, situational awareness and information sharing are critical, and Boomerang's electronic systems ensure that they remain connected and effective in complex operational environments. The U.S. Army's Robotic Combat Vehicle Program represents a groundbreaking advancement in military technology, surpassing Russia's BTR-90. From agile RCVL to robust RCVH, it reflects a commitment to staying at the forefront of innovation. In collaboration with human forces, these robotic vehicles promise to enhance military capabilities, improve soldier safety, and provide a strategic edge in an ever-changing global security landscape. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.